Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to build for your ridge amplifier for endurance, okay? And that is the amplifier if you're facing the north of your storm shield, it's the one to the left. Sometimes it's called B, sometimes it's called A, alright? We're going to build a system that will push the husks off the side, they'll all come from round there, down here, They'll all get thrown down into that pit area down there through here and we're going to send them back up and around and they're going to try and get back up there again okay but there's actually a geyser there which we're going to utilize and just send them in a loop about there okay now we're going to have to utilize this geyser system as well and once i've done this video I'm going to have to show you how to build the pit amplifier because that actually is related to this build of which uses the same structures that are placed here. Okay, so if you bear that in mind for the next video as well. Right, so what we're going to do first is notice how well, we didn't actually catch that on film now, but we're going to have to do two meteor shifts in this build, okay? The first hits around here, and the second one hits around here, okay? We're going to have to put a blockade system in place and a path for the husks that spawn down here. They're going to walk up here, walk this way, and then walk down this straight path here towards the amplifier, because they're going to want to try and get to this slope here because all this is going to be blocked off okay right so what we're going to need to do first is wait for the next meteor strike to occur notice how that meteor is there okay so we're going to move this meteor from this position here to right up into the corner here okay and to do that it's all down to what floors we place in what configuration in this area here okay quickly before the next meteor comes is put that round there we need to put these two pieces so that they're facing and touching these two walls here, okay? And then this one also needs to touch that one. We need to put, now one thing, if you've watched my other videos, I leave the pyramids down for upgrade reasons. Now in this circumstance, you can't actually do that because that will actually play havoc on the shift as well, okay? Right, there's the next one there. We're gonna need to move that one to about here so it's out the way of the structures and blockade that we're going to put here okay so this one needs to come back here because we're going to have to put a wall there that one like so that one there okay right we just block all this in now i'm going to put the uh, pyramids in later on i just want to get this in so that the block has been done okay one there that one there and then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here 
put that in there. We need to put these in quickly here. It must put flats. Oh, I don't want a piece of wood. Get right, there we go. Until you covered up this bit there. You put one here, one here, and one here. And there we go. All right. Now let's move that meteor from whereabouts I was standing about here before, if you remember rightly. We've now moved that meteor to here, okay? So it won't strike in that area and blow this lot up anymore. Okay, right, now. Let's have a look. In fact, this one here, we can't put in. Apologise for that. Just ignore that. If you have put that in, just take it out. Okay. Right, so we've got that in all across there. So what's going to happen now? The, the meteor will strike about here. We just need to put some extra floor plan in here. Quickly. These have got to be flats. Like so. There we go, okay. Put flats all the way along here. So you've got one missing there. A V shape here, all right, and then come out so you've got one block. It's worth of free space there, all right. Now, what we're going to do now is place a wall here, bring it down sideways. Another one like that. We can put the flats in here at the moment. That's not a problem. One like that, like that. Another one here. Okay, on that one. Now we'll put another half there, there, and there. Okay. Right. I believe these ones can be put like so. That one I think I'll leave flat because you can get underneath it. And upgrade all that from underneath okay that one yeah right now cover these pyramids all right right so basically what you've got is two coming out on this side of the slope here in one in one in one to the wall okay right now what we can do is we leave the first run here down okay without any box around it the boxes basically will start from these ones here so if you just put them all box them all up like so okay that up we'll box that one up and we'll leave it like that so you're missing the last one on this corner here you're then missing that one here here and here okay right two final boxes there okay this will all get upgraded in a little while and all these pyramids will be placed up in the correct directions which will be basically quarter panels all like that facing the spawn area where they're basically going to be walking mainly okay i'll just leave that down for now i'll show you that later on in the video right we want to put a flat here roof a wall <coughs> And we'll place the floor here, here. We'll come out, round, and then we'll connect up with that floor plan and pathway here, okay? Now we need some more quarters or half turn ups, diagonals, and put three there. One, two, and three, okay? We can put pyramids on top of these. And again, like the others, we'll just box them up like this. All right. This will leave a new roof on it. Like that. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll get to here. 
on the edge of this slope we'll go out by one we'll strafe to the left and we'll put another floor there okay now we'll box that up like so put a further one on the end and then one down okay so basically what's going to happen here is these will all have wall altars on them. The wall altars will start from here. These three here will be sound walls. Okay. Right. And we want to put our first quarter wall in there. Second one in there. Now sometimes what we've noticed is if you put one there, a pitcher will stand about here. He'll just be outside of the wall launcher and he'll start throwing at this if it was there just keep throwing at it and throwing at it and throwing at it okay so we don't really need that from there but what we're going to do is going to put another one here okay we'll put a roof on top like so all right and then we'll put a 45 facing out that way all right and that'll shoot them down there okay right now what we're going to need to do is put a roof on this one another 45 here because that'll have a wall launcher on it there this will have a floor launcher and this one here will have a wooden floor spike but it'll be a heel legendary heel with just durability on it okay because what happens sometimes is you'll get a husk come underneath here and start bashing away at this doesn't always happen but occasionally so if we put a heel on it that will solve that problem if we're not aware of the husk being there at the time okay if you're elsewhere or if you plan on doing this afk right now what we've also found as well is sometimes the husks rather than get thrown directly that way they depending on where they're standing on the floor here what they'll do is they actually get flicked up and out into one of these boxes it's obvious what they're going to try and do is try and bash out so what we tend to do now is we put i do like to get these lined up on a finicky one for that ocd right so we come on here once we've placed that one we'll then place another pyramid but we'll, okay we'll turn it in like so and then we'll bring another one 45 straight like that and we'll put two rooftops on here like so all right okie dokie right we'll put a back on this and that's that there and just go through and make sure that's all done like it's okay right now what we can do is now this pit amplifier like i said there is some sharing of the structure systems involved in these two builds okay so this will be the next amplifier you want to be looking at the next video that i produce will be for this amplifier okay and then what we're going to do now is once they're sent down here there's two ways you can do it since the crowd control systems have been turned off you can if you wanted to just put floor spikes all the way along here and then let them just walk up through back up this way over the top here and back up around okay now that's all well and good but a problem that you are going to face with that is of durability now if you haven't got very high trap durability from your survivor loadouts you will find that the more and more hucks that come through here the chances are that these wall launchers and everything else will run out and your husks will have much freer rain to walk straight through and to your amplifier because of the reload speeds and stuff like that so if you are going to afk it make sure you do have trap durability very high in the ranges of around 240 plus percent okay to check that what you do is you go into your inventory you click on loadout you then click on see all stats and scroll down okay and you will notice their trap durability i'm running 245 percent at this moment in time okay right from the main menu it's slightly different you have to go to your command survivors squads click on and open one of the squads and then you'll have access to the see all stats button and again you scroll down and it'll be in there okay right so if you want to get around the trap durability problem at route AUL calls you what i would do is block this off 
it's going to be more structures, but it is what it is. Right now, here's another thing you're going to have to bear in mind. Because these two amplifiers are closely related, to get these husks to not want to bash and go through this tunnel, even as thick as a structure system you're going to put in here, you will find that they'll still try and go for this if you don't put this one in here, okay? If you only put it that far in. Now, the problem is, when you come out this far, and we put the 45 in like so, is notice how that's now protruding out into this open area here. The problem that you're gonna face with that is, when it comes to wave four, is you're gonna have a blockade system here, okay? Now, I know that when I walk into that area, the meteor is gonna get... In fact, that's quite a good. Now, watch this. Right, notice how that destroyed that rock and it actually struck about here. Okay, now I want to show you how to move this meteor so that we actually have it strike here or here. Okay, and that is down to the code of which you place the floors here. Okay, now this code does change depending on the revision of the game. They do like to keep you on your toes and change this code each time. Now, if you've placed this already and it's already in place and it's been locked in before and you continue to run your SSDs or should I say your endurances, you'll find that that lock will stay. But if you're building this in a new home base and you, you can't just use a, a code or a previous code that you might use in someone else's base or if you're watching this video for the first time. Okay, so you will have to work out what the code is for the new revision, okay, if you're only just putting it in for the first time or if you break it down and want to put it back in again. Okay? That's called AI memory and that is actually a thing in this game and basically what we're going to have to do is play with the AI memory on this section here so what we're going to have to do like i said is we're going to need to place this extra piece in that does actually protrude into this area here okay and once you run the endurance you need to run it past wave two maybe to three or four and then finish or leave your storm shield okay but what it's actually done is it's actually given the ai a memory of this system here okay so once you've left after the way say wave three let wave three complete and on wave four when it starts just leave come back to your home screen come back into your storm shield area okay come down here and destroy these three pieces like so with the wall that's here okay and place your wall launcher on this side okay and then once you've placed your wall launcher on this side you're going to have to go over the top and then place your increase on the back of this wall here, okay? And then just edit yourself back out through here. So what we're gonna do now is place the pyramids through, and we're gonna place our walls. One, we'll edit this one open for now. That one, and that one, okay? We'll come through here. We'll place a flat and a pyramid on top. Okay, that will be down eventually, but I'm gonna leave it up just so I can upgrade it later on, okay, for ease. All right. And then once you've made those changes and you put your trap system on there, run it up again, and fingers crossed, they will keep the AI memory that they had from the initial spawn or initial session that you run, and they will still not go for this, okay? But if you did this first of all, and you didn't put these three pieces in here with the traps and stuff like that, they will just go for this wall for some strange reason, okay? So for now, as we are just building this, I'm gonna put the extra in and open this up so that I can get through easily just to upgrade and place it like that. And this is what will house our wall launcher and the increased trap on the side, all right? And then what we'll also do is put a wall here just for now that will eventually be closed up and again that will be only for the initial start to fool the AI 
okay? And then what we're basically getting to the point of is when I started this video, I showed you what come down here and they're going to want to come up this way, okay? And that basically means that we have to build a trap utilizing this geyser, which will get used, like I said, for the ridge or B amplifier in this instance and the pit amplifier that's over here, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to place a stairway, a wall here and here. We're going to then place a wall there, there, and like so. All right. Now we're going to place a 45 here, one here, so it's over the geyser. And we're going to do that. And we need to put one more here, edit that like so. And a wall here set into an archway. All right. Now, in the next video, I will show you why we have built this box in the way we have. For now, I'm going to focus on the build that's up there and what we're going to use this box for for that. Okay. So we build a flat here. We then put a stairway up like so. We then come over the top and down. Select our stairway again, put it into a half facing the lava, and then we'll go up one, two, we'll place a flat into a half, go back to the staircase, one and two again. We'll then come up and place a flat here, a flat here, and we'll place a flat here. Okay. Right. Now we'll put a wall here. We'll put a quarter wall here and a quarter wall there. All right. Now you can, if you want to, just to give it the 45 that we're going to house there. And we'll put another flat and another flat wall there. Okay. That just gives that some extra. If anything does go wrong here, at least that will stay intact. Okay. And then we'll place another wall there. All right. Now what we've done is we've created a path that comes up this way and they're going to want to come through this geyser to get to the staircase that we are going to place here. Okay. We're then going to build a staircase, but we're going to turn it into a right angle like so. Come back flat, up one and two and connect on to this piece here. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is put another quarter wall in there and a flat there okay so this will have a tarpet on it this will have a wall launcher and that just makes them have to walk a little bit further forward onto this area here to get through okay now some of you won't have this here now i'll be interested to actually see what this actually does being that it is here as this is something i've not seen in any other base it's normally always been broken or harvested okay so i've purposely left that there to see what that actually does to the pathing of the husks, if anything, all right? We may have to destroy this, but I wanted to see what goes on, okay? Right. Now that we've done that, we're just gonna come and just tidy this up a little bit and just do that. Everything else, we'll just put a quarter piece in there, like so. All right, so basically they're gonna come and walk through here and then get pushed back and then all of them are going to get caught in a loop. Okay. Right. Now, let's talk flingers. Flingers are a bane of my existence. Okay. Now, there's one particular flinger on this particular wave or on any of the waves that loves to chuck up at the amplifier no matter where you put a shield so unfortunately this is where some of your structures are going to go on this particular board okay and to do that we're gonna to have to build a flinger wall that will basically cover all of this area here around here around here all the way down and to the end okay and this flinger can actually spawn on wave one 
if it gets on the north amplifier and that flinger will actually walk all the way around here all the way around here get caught in a trap tunnel get thrown down there walk through that tunnel up the staircase stand about there and will actually start flinging its storm shield on wave one i have seen all right so this is going to actually be quite an extensive um flinger defense all right now what you do now is you get yourself here and you place your first 45 here your second one there and you turn this one up so that it looks like a fang as such okay now i like to call this the dracula or the vampire all right because you're going to have one fang this way and you're going to have one fang that side okay right so we come down and we place our 45s all the way along here we'll place on a piece there turn it up to create the second fang oh oh come on there we go and then we'll come up we'll place a floor or ceiling there and there back to pyramids and then we'll come like so all the way along like this and to stop that problem on the storm shield with the flinger we're going to have to put that in like so all right now if we come up by one turn that like so right and then we come all the way along like that all right so that's basically like that on the height of the spawn point what am i doing there we go right That like that. That like that. Right, and also when we're facing the west, we have to go up by one again. Finish off this side. So, right, and when we get to the second to last, we have to turn that like that, come along this way, all right, come back this way. Hopefully we're now high enough. Which we are. Okay. And notice how that passes through that because that is actually three blocks off the floor. Okay. Anything from three blocks high, the meteor will just pass through without causing any damage to any structures. Anything below three blocks and it will destroy whatever's in its path. Okay. Right. That's that one, and we need to go up by one on this direction as well. Like so. All right, so you got that level, down one, and down one until you get round like that. All right? You can actually get rid of this one here, okay? Right. So there's your system, there's your pathway, all right, all the husks and enemies will end up here, you don't need a roof on this because you've got this lovely lob shield to deal with all those problems, okay, we come back through here, we're just walking back on ourselves around the pathing system. 
that blockade's ready to be upgraded there. That's all set. That's all nice. That's all in like that. Okay. You got the blockades in there. This is what this looks like from above. All right. There's the first BTR shift. Everything's still intact. We come around this way. All the way around here. And there we go. All right. Now what we're going to do finally is put in a blockade so nothing wants to come up this way. All right. So we come up here. We put those two turned up flats. We'll then put a wall here, here. Two flats. Two more walls. Two more flats. And then we'll put pyramids. They will be down like so. All right. One either side. But for now, just for upgrade purposes, we'll leave them in the 45 directions. We then have to put a block around the back. We'll then put a 45 here, turned into a quarter, a flat, a wall, a flat. We then put two turned up flats on the floor like so. Another 45 like that. This one will need a box around it because they can walk up and around this way, whereas they can't on that side. Okay. We then put our 45s in like so, but for upgrade reasons, we'll have them turned down for now. We'll put another box around there. Okay. We then have to put an empty box here, an empty box here. And like that right that's basically what it looks like all right if you start putting 45s in these ones and stuff like that the AI will for whatever reason actually want to come and get to them it's a strange one less is more all right so remember that so we're gonna put another two 45s on here which will upgrade and then we'll put down once they're fully upgraded into the pyramid position like so okay for now we'll just leave it like that and just put another one there like so all right we just could put one more little piece in and that is the what we like to call the mini boss dancer okay and that basically is just a halo we put around the amplifier top consisting of the four archways and in the connection, it put one there. I like to just turn that in a little bit. It looks, a lot, it doesn't, it just doesn't stick out as much, okay? And then we come across, stand on top of the amplifier, and then put the four pieces around it like so. All right. Now I just like to jump down. It's a little bit easier to edit. Turn the archways up. Go back in the top, and then put your four archways in like that. That is literally all you're going to need around your amplifier, okay? Because once the mini bosses walk through here, they should ignore all this system here and just come through and stand about here and just walking backwards and forwards, not knowing what to do with himself, okay? He might try and attack that box there, he might not. But whilst that's in this configuration, he would just come here and stand and just walk backwards and forwards. If for any reason this gets damaged and one of these gets torn off or gets even if you edit it okay if that configuration isn't as you see it now your mini bosses will go ham and go through and start damaging the builds and the trap tunnels and the blockade and everything like that it's okay so it's imperative that that is in that configuration and it stays intact okay right so there is your build for your endurance for your ridge amplifier and like i say in this case our b this could be your a okay b or a depending on how you place one first all right so this we like to call the ridge this is the amplifier this is the build when you next see this i'll have it fully upgraded and i'll tell you how to trap it out okay right three two one and welcome back and here we are fully upgraded once again everything there 
I've done all that as well. That's all upgraded. Everything's all upgraded. What we're going to need to do first before we forget is turn all these pyramids up into their correct positions. Okay, so as the spawn walks around this way, like I showed you earlier on, we're going to need to turn all these, I'd say 90% of them, all up. So they're all facing upwards, pointing towards the northwest. Okay. So that's that one, or those two there. Jump in this box. This one needs to be turned up. Struggling there. Turn that one. Turn that one. We'll turn this one. Now that one can be turned up as well. Okay, we'll leave that flat. Now, because that one is there, it's an open area. We're going to leave that one flat down, okay? The others we can turn up. All right, so that the first one on this row you leave down. The rest will turn up. Okay. This one here needs to be into a 45 direction for facing the north. Same with that one. Now these I forgot to place during the last part of the video so I've added these 45s okay so when you come to do this you'll think to yourself oh he didn't tell me to put those in all right so these need to be put in they all need to be facing in the 45 degrees angle oh look I missed one all right and that one needs to be upturn quarter Northwest, okay, that all helps with the meteor shift. All right, and again, this one has to be facing and connected that way. All right, so you've got the concrete floor that side and the metal floor this side. Okay, now all of these will all have an upturned floor in, like so. All right. We'll just close all those off again. All right. So that's all done. We'll come around here. This one to the northwest. Again to the northwest. And another one. Right. And this here, what we tend to do is just open that up so that it curls open like so. So you can walk back and forth this way, all right? You don't necessarily need this bit here, but it's in, it's not a problem, okay? And, oh, and I've missed this area down here. I'll just quickly up, upgrade this. A few moments later. All right, that needs to get closed down. 45 closed, 45 closed. Same with that one, same with that, upgrade that, close that up, turn up the final one, okay, and then there we go, right, and then we can close that off, right, now that's all upgraded, what I'll do is I'll show you how to trap this out, okay, now first of all what we're going to need to do is place some increased traps on the back of all the walls that are going to be the closest to the run where the husks will walk as these are the ones they could bash on okay so it's just basically the outside line here running along this edge like so all right now i like to use increased wooden wall spikes as they're inert traps also doesn't look too bad either when you look at it come down to the increase here we go we'll place one two three four make sure you turn this back up again five turn it back up oh 
six, seven, eight, nine, close that one, ten, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. So there we go, that's all done. Everything's all been increased along those walls, okay. We'll now need to place some gray wooden floor spikes, okay. Now there's the perk table. We've got it set to level five, so that it opens up the second perk. Or the maximize the durability perk and make sure that's set to durability, okay. And make sure that you've also got a trap schematic that's, that's got the gray perk at the top on the damage and physical element okay we'll place one here here and here we'll then continue through and place one here one here and one here okay now if we come back along here we can then place our sound walls there's the perk table for durability and heal okay because we've got the increase on the back We'll put the heel on the front and we'll place three along here. We'll place one here, one on this wall, and one on this wall. Okay. Right now, what we'll do is we will craft ourselves a heel wooden floor spike. Okay. Don't need any damage as such, we'll just use the full durability and heal there, okay. And we'll place that there. On this one, we'll place a floor launcher. We'll use a 3x, okay, that's three impact and knockback. Double reload speed and durability. We'll place one here, and we'll place one here, okay. All we need to do now is place the wall launchers, okay? All we'll need is a 1x on these, all right? So we can get the maximum amount of durability. We'll place one here, one here, and one here. Okay, this one, we could use a 2x on it, or even a 3 if you wanted to. So we could place a 3 on this one. All right. Also over here, actually, whilst I remember... Where this has all been upgraded now, we need to place these back down into the lower pyramid. The same with this one. And the same with this one. And in here. Naughty, naughty. Forgot to upgrade that one. That needs to be turned up to a 45. Same with that one. That's already been done. That's empty. And there we go. So that's completed and upgraded the blockade and put everything in the correct positions there. Right, now what we've got to do is come back this way. And then we'll do some kill here because if anything does get through here, it's not so bad now that the CC or crowd control has been turned off. Normally what would happen is during the crowd control era, some husks would stand here. Some would just like touch certain things knock them on and eventually they would get immune and they were able just to walk through and walk up this way okay so this is where the the death section was okay so it's not so necessary now but we'll just put it in any way just to be sure okay this one will need a two on it we don't want to push them too far and actually touch onto that floor and then be able to walk up and round again all right so what we'll do is we'll put a 2x on this one and then we'll put a tar pit on the floor here to stop them in their tracks so that that has a chance of working especially on a reload as well for any, any others that might come along behind it okay this one will put a retractable floor spike down okay crit and damage one reload and durability we'll stick that there we will put a electric field above our head a couple of durability zapper maxes one either side okay 
we can do the same here as well okay we'll put a wall dart on that wall there and we will place a ceiling zapper there okay now you can if you wanted to put another kill trap on here but don't think that's going to be necessary now all right so if we come back through here this is what it will look like all right little recap for you all right now finally what we have to do is go down here and then set this so we'll put an increase now again this is only temporary we'll put an increase on the back this side and on the front we are going to place a 2x with heal okay right okie dokie now you don't need to place anything on this section here for now I will be trapping out this section here all right and that will all that will be is we'll put a a sound wall on this one with heal a sound wall on this one with heal and then two increased traps on the back here okay what we will need to do is and again this is another structure that I forgot to place during the initial build and that was this wall here this wall was not present I forgot to mention it and I forgot to put it in before I added this when I was going through all the upgrades okay this needs to be in here all right now sometimes you do get some phases get through this wall here and once they're through all they want to do is try and bash on one of these two walls okay so what we're going to need to do here is put another 2x with heal on this wall and what I like to do is put a crit damage on this side and a heal on this side and then finally because sometimes we get the odd blaster trying to bash on this wall as well so we're going to place a crit with increase on that side all right okay right if we move through here work our way up this staircase and this is where now sometimes this isn't foolproof okay it's 99.9% .9 effective you will get the odd one or two husks to get through and if they do they'll be able to make their way up here and then to stop those from getting through onto the amplifier all we do is place a tarpet on the floor there and then we'll stick a 3x on the wall there okay doesn't need to be heal or anything like that just enough to really push them back and out and away they may go as far as a lava but cell of e, we'll just have one little husky come through again all right okay right so that is your ridge build all right now this will only work for your endurance this will not work for your ssds what i will do is record a video showing you how to build for the ridge for your ssds once you're at ssd 10 you will then need to look at this video and see how you put this in or right. now don't forget when you've run this the first time only run the endurance to about wave three or four okay and once you've done that leave on wave four it doesn't have to have been completed or anything like that and you need to come back down here to that little section here and you need to destroy this one this one and this one and the floor underneath okay once you've done that you then need to place a launcher with heel 2x on this wall here okay and then from behind come all the way through and place your increase on this side one of these 
all right so this will be delete 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 and delete you all launch on this wall and you increase on the back of this wall okay and then edit all these back up as they should be like I showed you all right then once you've done that run it straight away and the husks should still drop down here and they will just ignore this hopefully fingers crossed and they'll just path through this tunnel and up and try and access the amplifier from the, via that staircase there okay I just wanted to add to this video that since you saw the active wave there, the problems we were having here, a lot more husks seem to be coming up and through than previously experienced. So what I want to do is I want to try and mitigate that problem by making a few adjustments to what I've shown you in the build. And what I want to do here is take this one out, take that one out. I want to put a flat here and there and a flat here, okay? turn that into a triangle section there we'll leave that to upgrade right and then what we're going to do is add another floor here and I might put another ceiling in turn that in like so and then add a, a zigzag like that okay so we can shoot them out down there because this one here just wasn't enough with the reload times and everything like that. Now what else we could also do is if we come down here, I did notice that a lot of these were phasing issues. So what we're gonna do is add this section here, just this one piece on top, to hopefully give them a little bit more pushback so that they're not gonna phase and hit on top there on this wall here, okay. Um, hopefully that will solve that problem upgrade this quickly and then we're going to place another tarpet on here and nothing special needs to go on there really I think we'll just go for a one tire one X on there wait for this to upgrade that one that one that's already done and then we'll come down here and just upgrade that upgrade these up here whilst we're waiting for that last one to finish off down there perfect there we go right hopefully that will solve that problem that you witnessed in the active footage and right about here what I'm going to do is add a, a tire drop trap, making sure the tank is obviously facing where the husk is going to come from. So we're going to add one just there. And I'm going to add, just for safety, a ceiling zapper here and a ceiling zapper here. Okay. Right. That should solve that problem, hopefully. Well, if you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe and consider using my supporter credit code sevens up, which you'll see here. Okay. And if you've got discord, please consider joining our discord server, STW central. The link to the server will be in the video's description and I'll bolt it on the end of this video as usual. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.